Around the country, we are voting or preparing to vote. Today, our campus ministry staff will offer you a moment to stop and reflect on your vote, your choice, based on the Ignatian Examine for Civic Life from the Ignatian Solidarity Network. We invite you to find a quiet spot for the next five minutes as we get you through the five steps of this examine. Step one, begin with a prayer of gratitude. Consider the current realities of our country. For what and for whom are you most grateful? Step two, ask for God's guidance. Invite the Holy Spirit to illuminate your reflections. Step three, enlightened by the Spirit, prayerfully review our nation at this point in history. Pay attention to your emotions and reactions. What energizes you or brings you closer to God as you reflect on our country? What distracts you or makes you feel farther away from God as you reflect on our country? What is the current situation of your siblings in this nation? particularly those who are most vulnerable and often marginalized by poverty and injustice. What are the ways that your identity and privilege shape your perspective and vision for our country? Allow your honest reactions, emotions, and desires to surface. conversation with God. Consider perhaps one or two of the strongest desires or feelings evoked by your prayers about our country and bring this to God. Engage God in conversation over these desires or feelings, speaking simply, clearly, directly, and honestly as one friend speaks to another. What areas of your life, as a faithful citizen, do you lament? What communities, groups, or aspects of creation in our nation need healing and reconciliation? What is God's desire for people who are marginalized by poverty and injustice? What areas of your life and our nation's life do you rejoice in and celebrate fidelity to gospel values? Listen to your heart. How is God present to you through your reactions and desires? Step five, prayer of renewal and resolution. As we prepare to elect new leaders, how will you promote the common good? Ask God for the assistance you need to enact greater, more lasting good for all God's people. 
Is there a specific attitude you want to cultivate or an action you want to take? And trust your desires and intentions to God's grace. Amen.